Now it's 9.33. The Radio Wemo Breakfast. Wine Vault Radio with Jason Bryant from WineVaultTV.com. Indeed. Um, the man who uh, makes wine videos and reviews and uh, talks about the business, social media and wine and everything is Jason Bryant. Yeah, a lot of social media actually. Yeah, Jason, yeah, yeah. Jason underscore Bryant on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I got your back, Jason. Yeah. <laughs> um, what a week. Yeah, it has been a week. Um, we've, we've celebrated... Um, and some people have commiserated. It depends on how you look at it. Um, the death of someone, which I'm, I'm really uncomfortable with, and I said I wasn't going to talk about. But and we, here I am talking you, about it. You and I just can't into it. let it go. <laughs> um, and then we had that cyclone, or hurricane, come through, which was pretty impressive. If you see the video, yeah, tornadoes, tornadoes. Uh, hurricanes are different business. Oh, yeah, that's a rugby team in Wellington, not yeah. a sport. Um, but there was this. Um, Tornado that came, ripped through, and then there was this great video shot from Point Chev as you see it coming across the harbour. Yeah, um, which um, really intrigued me. Um, sad that we had to lose someone. Yeah, um, and all the damage tragic. as well. But it? it reminded me of Midwest America <clears throat> when not only the well, tornado. It was, only, it was only last week that they were having yeah. their, their crazy tornadoes Down in Alabama and stuff like that. Yeah, but but the the construction of our buildings is so poor. Mm -hmm. um, well, you, we don't we don't expect. Yeah, 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 but I, I'd, I'd prefer something a bit more regal, and, and I think give people a bit more pride in their community right. if the if the buildings were a bit nicer. Um, but it just ripped through, um, throwing off masses of um, uh, corrugated iron, yeah. and um, that was a real tragedy. Yeah. yeah. And so, and then that, and then, um, geez, uh, what else has happened this week? <laughs> Well, it was. Oh, well, you've got glasses. Yeah, I've got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a um, that's a big that. change. Yeah, yeah. This is yeah. my first week. One week with um with glasses changed my life. Yeah, you can see things now. Yeah, you didn't even know what yeah. I looked like, did Wait, you? No. <laughs> I've often noticed that as I walk down the street and you just completely ignore me. Yeah. Um, I only I only know you by voice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but yeah. but now now I'm going to be able to recognise you. Yeah, do quite amazing, really. Um, life was in SD now in HD. Wow. Yeah. Ten eighty p. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Change that much? Very for you. good. Yeah. Actually, just just talking about the um, the tornadoes in America. Yeah. Um, there's an, another um, show that, that's off radio, but it's online called the Climate Show that I yeah. um, co-host with Gareth Rinaldi. Um, uh, we covered the tornadoes here, but also over in America. And there's an amazing satellite image from um, NASA that you, from space you can actually see the paths the tornado took, and, it, and it's like these lines across. Um, across the state, right? Okay, and you can see them. Like, plain as day, these lo these um, brown lines across the green, and it's just like someone's just gone and and, and got a um, a knife and just sort of slashed the countryside. Quite wow. amazing to see. Well, yeah. I must watch the climate show this episode. I did mm. retweet it because it's something that's close to my heart. But um, episode twelve is just out. Theclimateshow.com. Yeah. There's a yeah. plug. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, I could plug it. This is my show. Also, <laughs> also, I, I met a really kind of interesting wine photographer this week, um, Alan Johnston, and he's probably New Zealand's most celebrated wine photographer. I saw that video go. I out. tell you what, yeah. he was fantastic. His photographs are, are beautiful. So, what does he take photos like? Wine barrels and uh, barrels, but of vineyards and, and from hills and kind of as more landscape than yeah. than actual kind of about the wine. Um, um, it just happens to include a vineyard or something like that. But the the colours and the attention to detail, and he's had cameras made to do this. So yeah, cameras specifically made, made for the task. Yeah, because he shoots pretty much in um, wide um, widescreen yeah, type like thing, panorama uh, type. Panorama, yeah, of um, 120, 105, 120 degrees, mm -hmm. and so you get this very long, skinny kind of image, but. Uh, it's at f44 if you know your depth of fields I, I, your I, I want to i want to learn a lot about this stuff and so the clarity mm. is immense and the colors uh sublime and i i couldn't speak highly enough of these so does he get employed by wine growers to to come in and photograph their vineyard for uh, promotional uh, purposes yeah, yeah he does a lot of that for like vineyards and stuff and he will do some of it off his own back and um it's a niche business isn't it yeah, but he, he does. He started moving into a bit of portraiture and um, also video mm, as okay. well. So it's pretty cool because he un really understands the whole concept of focus and depth of field and yeah. um, and lighting. And yeah. his lighting on his photos was stunning. Yeah. Um, if I that, could afford one of his prints, isn't it all about ninety, ninety, ninety-five percent um, lighting and, and photography? 
Oh, well, it certainly seemed like that. And also, you've got to understand the the, the aspect kind of ratio, but like depth of field and shutter speed, and yeah. to get the right light, and um, then the the right composition as yeah, well. But yeah, yeah. I, I, I tell you what, I, I do want to do, and um, I don't know if they exist in New Zealand. Maybe I need to look for it. But I want to go on walking tours um, with with some photography experts, and you go with a bunch of people. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you walk around a particular suburb or an yep. area, or whatever, and they're doing London and New York. Yeah. Oh, do they? Yeah, yeah. And, and then you point, and they point out a building, and and yep. then say, to you, "Well, this is what I would do if I was photographing that." You know, that would I'd love to do that. He's also shot La Perla, um, kind of underwear, and so they were quite nice as well. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and moving in swiftly on. <laughs> <laughs> has he has he photographed the winery that we're looking at today? I, I believe he has. Newdorf. This is Maggie's Block Pinot Gris 2010. Arrived yesterday, and. Um, Maggie's Block is out in Brightwater of Nelson. Mm. Now, Nelson, for me, is a, a fairly secretive location for, for wine. It, it's really lost kind of some of its thunder and its um, edge on the New Zealand wine map um, because, obviously, Martinborough, Central Targa, Marlborough, um, and Hawke's Bay have really stolen its thunder. Yeah. Um, and also Pinot Gris. I mean, these guys make... Fantastic Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. Pinot Gris is always, for me, has always been a very difficult grape. But they make a, a couple of Pinot Gris, Maggie's Block, and also Muturi. Mm. And they do the, um, they've got three Pinot Noirs, and um, they just make stunning wine. Tim and Judy Finn. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I met Judy um, when I went to Upper Muturi um, and went to Nudorf. Yeah. And um, and sat outside there. They've got a beautiful, beautiful vineyard. I nice haven't met them yet. Um, but the, that whole valley, very interesting historic historic place as well. Um, all sorts of interesting um, old old things to see. And there's an old cottage there. I, think, I can't remember why it's so significant, but it's damn old. Right, okay, old, um, uh, yeah, twenty years. <laughs> worth checking out the old cottage. But I think, I'm pretty sure something something bad went down there. There was some kind of massacre. Uh, I could, I could that's the history of New Zealand. Yeah, history <laughs> of Britain. The history of over a hundred years ago, anyway. Uh, in the, the U.S. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Um, so, anyway, let's get on. Mm. Mm. Do you like the nose? Mm, I do. It's got a sweet, soft white peach mm. character mm. Me, on the on the nose. It's it's quite seductive. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I get a bit of lemon, lemon peel, lemon mm. rind more mm. than I do the actual lemon. All right, let's get into it. Boy, that's lively. Full of flavour. Mm. That's one of the things. And it's not sickly sweet. Mm. There is a bit of sweetness there, a lot of fruit sweetness there. A little, bit, little bit of sherbet. 4.2 grams of residual sugar, so technically dry. Mm. Um, anything under five grams of residual sugar, grams per liter, that is. Um, so it's technically dry, but you do get a lot of primary fruit. And this is this is new. This is going to age quite gracefully over the next two, three, five years. Mm, nice. Yeah. What would you pair it with? Um, ironically, I would probably. Uh, you can have chicken with it, um, kind of garlic and lemon chicken, mm. which I would possibly have. But I, I would aim more at the Either the aperitif or digestive spe- end of the spectrum, like a bit of fruit at the end, a bit of cheese. I think that they really sit well with that. Lovely. Um, possibly a bit of shellfish. Yeah. A bit of white, um, fleshy fish. Yep. Um, would go really nice with that. And what's the price point? Under twenty-five bucks. Not bad. So pretty good. Mm. And like for me, once it's settled down. Um, I'm going to give it kind of like 89 to 91. 91 once it's settled down, it's got a lot of potential. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. That was the um, the Nudorf Maggie's Block, Pinot Gris 2010. Lovely stuff. Yeah. Until next week. Another big week, I expect. Yeah, no doubt. Jason yeah. Bryant, uh, you can find him over on winevaulttv.com and also on Twitter as well, twitter.com forward slash Jason underscore Bryant.